So Sophie, Expo has launched a new product at Mobile World Congress. Can you tell me at a high level what the product is and, and why a carrier is going to be interested in implementing this solution? Absolutely. So we, we've launched a product called TestFlow. Uh, and basically what it allows you is really to accelerate uh, field deployments for the service providers, accelerating, uh, making the process more compliant as well. So it's a, an automated uh, field test system. So if you look here in terms of uh, the whole process, there are many steps to it. And basically uh, the name of the game is really we want to accelerate that process for the service providers and make sure that the process is actually compliant and repeatable and the same every time a field technician goes out in the field. There's a few up, yeah, yep, go ahead. Before we get into the, in the yep. detail, uh, what type of implementation is this? Is this a uh, residential application, business application? Is it a fiber implementation? What it's, type of uh, implementation is it? A good question. In the terms, we're focusing on two key applications at the moment, but it could spread to multiple applications, any field application. Right now, we're focusing more on FTTA, so fiber to the antenna deployment, as well as CRAN deployments, okay. as well as uh, FTTH. Uh, fiber to the home. So, so the FTTH in the, is installing for the home, so someone like yeah. a Verizon Fios or a cable company. Exactly. They want to eliminate exactly. multiple truck rolls, they want to make sure it goes in right the first time. Exactly. And exactly. then for the uh, for uh, uh, micro antenna or macro antenna implementation, you want to make sure all the steps are followed appropriately, right? Exactly. Okay. That, that's what it is. So basically there are multiple, if you take in the context of Mobile World Congress, we'll talk about FTTA or yeah. CRAN deployments, there are multiple steps involved into turning up a cell site. Uh, so there's the requirements for testing the physical fiber, the different connectors, uh, requirements for testing the fiber up the tower, testing the CIPRI protocol. So these are all multiple steps that are in a, a, a method and procedure. So the goal of test flow is really to automate and standardize that procedure and really accelerate the time uh, required to uh, turn up the cell yeah, site. And make sure it's done right the first time. Exactly, exactly. So we have a test flow uh, one key thing as well as part of test flow, it's good to accelerate the process, but the information gathered is extremely important as well. So we have a, a whole system where we, we have a one combined test report that's uh, put up into the cloud and basically allows you to do analytics over that report. So it's really easy to actually track, uh, for example, if you have a wide deployment in a specific region, you can actually track the progress, uh, how, how's the test going, uh, am I on time in terms of my deployment, what kind of problems am I seeing overall. So it's really important to be able to extract the information and, and, uh, and do analytics on that information. Yep. So that's what we cover as well. Now you also, I know in a lot of um, uh, macro antenna implementation, they need to take up to a hundred photos. Yes, Are you capturing yes, the photos and they have to be done in a certain order? And do you also capture the uh, location GPS coordinate to make sure that photo is done at the appropriate time? Exactly. So everything is in the test flow process where the technician doesn't even have to really understand everything. Obviously, he understands, but it doesn't. it's really very easy to use. There's different steps and all the photos are captured and put into one combined report because most of the time they have to do a closeout report for that specific cell site and everything is captured in one report put into the cloud and being able to yeah. actually uh, transform that data and basically see it in a contextual way depending on what what context you want to mm -hmm. you want to evaluate the data for now, I know a lot of the, uh, every carrier is going to have their own method of procedure or mop yes and then oftentimes they'll hire regional or national system integrators to the implementation and those system integrators in turn hire local contractors yes, to yes. the work so you've got to create the form mm -hmm. you got to push it down and then push it down how do you help on the form creation so uh, basically once the template is created according to the service providers standards and method and yep. procedure the template can be downloaded from the cloud to the test equipment and basically everyone can use the exact same procedure. And as well, when the results are uploaded, there's a validation that the test has actually been performed correctly. There's no cheating on the results or anything like that. So it okay. really assures the service provider that the tests have been done properly uh, in the right quality. So you got some nice screens here, nice dashboards. Uh, I saw a, a, a it looked like a, a device of some sort, a handheld. Yes. Is this, and then you've got an app on the phone. Are those the major components? The major component is obviously you don't want to uh, 
100 pieces of equipment. So we've really condensed all the capabilities into one platform that can do uh, optical testing, that can do SIPRI testing of the tower from an FTTA perspective, as well as fiber inspection. Uh, we have a wireless fiber inspection probe that allows not to bring this equipment up the tower, but just a fiber inspection using an app on the phone. So it's very easy to use uh, and light to go up the tower. Interesting. Yeah. When's this going to be commercially available? Today. We've okay. launched it this week and it's ready to go. Basically. Do you have any customers? Uh, yes, we do have very active field trials, both in uh, North America and Europe. So we're on the verge of, uh, we have uh, beta customers right now. So tell us what's in this box. In this box, this is our FTB1 Pro platform, so right. in, in the way it's configured right now, it's a modular platform, very flexible. In the back, we have a module that can... Can we turn this towards the camera? Yeah, we can turn it towards the camera. So we have a module that supports both uh, optical testing, so an OTDR, uh, and we, we have the probe connected to it, that's a fiber inspection probe. And in the back, we have uh, also um, a fully multi-service um, capability module where you can do Ethernet, so it's good for backhaul as well. It supports SIPRI, BBU emulation, RH emulation. So f really for the full frontal testing. Um, so depending on it, how it's configured, it can go up to 10 gig capability can I all combined. My phone with this? You got some uh, You USB? could charge. There is okay. a USB phone, but it, it, the phone <laughs> part is like a computer. Okay. <laughs> actually. And then um, anything significant on this side? Okay. Well. In terms of uh, in terms of the screen, obviously it's a touch screen, very easy to use, GUI, um, and and obviously from when it's a field product, we really want to simplify. So everything has to be very very easy to use, and how, that's how we design our, our GUI so that it's really simple to use. So you talk about driving compliance. Yes. You got a, a tower tech who may not be computer savvy. Yeah. Right, and they're forced to follow a very specific a very set specific, of tests. Yes. Is the interface that the, the tech uh, deals with, is it is it this interface? So they've got to be trained on which button to push and when. So Sophie, this could be used for a DAS implementation or a cell tower macro exactly. installation yes. and then small cell implementation. So can you give us an example of what maybe a sequence or form might look like? Exactly. So I've loaded one here basically and it's extremely simple so that you know any technician that knows how to use a computer can use it and it really does a step by step. So the, the uh, technician selects a step and just clicks on the start button and every step is defined here so fiber you can see it fiber one fiber two all they need to do is click on the step click on start connect the right equipment obviously if he's using the fiber if he's doing a sip report or if he's doing the fiber characterization but and you can have identification you can have instructions even pictures in there to guide the technician through and every step is recorded as we were saying it records the picture if it's a picture or the test results and put into one global report and then upload it to the cloud automatically so a very making it very very efficient very simple for the technician how's how's the data loaded to the cloud uh, it's it's really the, because it's a it's a PC based platform we, we support Wi-Fi Bluetooth any connectivity Ethernet port so any connectivity to the cloud like you would a no, normal computer so it's very very simple. How big are the files? Does it compress the files so you could upload it on cellular? It's not that that big. There's a lot of information in there, but even though it's it's not that that big of a file, so it just goes into the cloud. Yeah. Sophie, thanks for your time. Thank you.